What is up my loves? Welcome to my channel. I am so excited you're here. Today's video is going to be about what is in my camera bag. So basically I'm going to be showing you all of the gear I own and that I use for each and every wedding. So I get asked so much, what cameras do I shoot with? What lenses do I use? What flashes do I use? This video is going to cover all of that. So I hope you enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe and share this video with any friends. Love you all so much. I hope you enjoy. So I will tell you that I have so much gear because I have obviously bought a lot of my gear through time. I have been doing weddings now for I think five years. So like I said, a lot of this stuff I have bought over time as I have been able to earn some money from what it is that I do. So when I started off, I started with a Canon Rebel, I think it was like an XS. I started do, taking photos when I was like 14. So I'm definitely a Canon girl. Um, a little bit down the road, I went to a Sony and I love the Sony, but something took me back to my Canons and I absolutely love Canon. So today I'm gonna show you everything that's in my bag what I take to every single wedding. Mind you, I don't take this whole thing to my engagement sessions because I think it's a little bit much. For my engagement sessions, I literally take a little backpack with normally just like my 35 lens and sometimes I'll take my 24. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you, today's all about showing you what is in here. So I use a Pelican case and obviously it's on wheels. I would pick it up and show you guys, but it's a little bit heavy <laughs> and I would have to just put it back up to show you what's inside, which is the important part. First off, I use Hold Fast Gear straps for wedding days just because it's super convenient to have two cameras on you at all times just because you don't know what's gonna happen I love to always be ready with two cameras so I love using this especially when I'm doing so many things like wedding days you're kind of maneuvering a lot of things so it's so helpful to have just your both your cameras you can literally just drop them and they're like nice and safe I will say I when I first started, I actually bought a cheaper version of these and my camera fell from them. So I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend investing in a good pair because it's worth it. Thankfully, my camera was okay. So that's the first thing that is in my bag. And secondly, over the center. so I own three Canons. 5D Mark IVs, so I like to keep my bag super organized. I literally, my assistant is literally the best human being ever. We actually number like all of the caps to the cameras, so I know kind of like where the caps go, and I know which camera is which and which one I shot with, and etc. So I do own three of these. So a lot of times during wedding days, I will shoot with two of my cameras and then my assistant will take the third one or we'll switch around if we have to but three having three is so so helpful it's literally changed the way I do weddings just because I mostly do larger weddings mind you I am working on moving a little bit more towards elopements and smaller destination weddings because that's where my heart is and if that's where you're leaning towards I definitely want to suggest this many cameras but these are help, help, super helpful for larger weddings. So again, I have three Canon 5D Mark IVs because I get this asked so many times, what do I shoot with? And it is a Canon 5D Mark IV. Now I'm gonna go into my lenses that I own. My first lens is, I have a Canon 85. It is the, 1.4 or 1.2? Can't remember. I honestly never shoot that low of aperture, so I don't even know. So it is 
1.2. So this lens is honestly a phenomenal lens. Like, if you do weddings, I highly, highly, highly recommend this lens. It is so crispy clean. I love using it. I mostly use it during ceremonies when I like to do the close-ups of, let's say, like the ring, let's say the kiss. My assistant usually uses this to stay out of the way. Um, just so that she's never in my shot, so she usually uses the 85 like from afar and she'll usually grab like the groom's reaction to things or like the parents reaction to things. Next I have my 24 lens and this is also a, I believe, this is a 1.4. Again, like I said, I never really shoot with anything that low. But I do love how crispy clean these lenses are. I do think they are amazing and so worth investing in. I love my 24 because I can use it. It's more for like when you want like a wide shot. So it's super, it works super well for like bridal getting ready photos when the space is super small, but you want to get like full body images or like more details. So this is also another amazing lens and definitely a must have. So next in my bag is my, this is kind of one of my newer lenses. I got this probably within the last year and a half, I would say. So this is my 2470 and this is a 2.8. I think it's the second version too, which, so it is the second version and I love this lens also because I use this a lot during ceremonies whenever I just like to have like a range of like shots. I also like to use it during reception, so mostly for ceremony and reception. Oh, also for family photos, just because literally you can zoom in and out like so easily and so quickly, and family photos are usually like go, go, go. So this is a super amazing lens for ceremony, family shots, and reception. Highly recommend. Now we move on to my actual favorite lens, and this is the 35 millimeter. It is a, I can't remember, I think it's a 1.4 or 1.2, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of those. I'm not really sure, like I said, again, I don't ever shoot that low of aperture. So this is my favorite, favorite lens. I probably have this on my camera like 90% of the time just because I get such clean shots, like all of my portraits I and all of my engagement sessions are usually shot with this 35 just because I feel like it gives you such a good range and the shots are so, so clean. So if you are looking to invest in a first lens, I would a thousand percent recommend a 35 millimeter. That should definitely be your first lens. I would say this one or a 2470 just for you to like be able to play with different like looks. So yes, this one I definitely recommend. You need a 35. So finally, my last lens, I have a 50 millimeter 1.2. This lens is also phenomenal. Such a clean lens. I don't use this lens as much. Actually, when I first bought my Canon, I think this was one of my first lenses because one of my close friends was selling it and I basically only shot with this lens. I do love this lens, but I don't know, I just feel like sometimes it's a little bit too close for my type of style just because I am I'm big on like capturing nature and like the surrounding areas and I feel like sometimes this is a little bit too tight, but it is phenomenal for portraits. Such a gives you such a clean shot. So, I would highly recommend a 50 millimeter as well. So those are all of my lenses and next I'm going to show you all of the other extra details that I have in my bag. So first off, I'm going to go over, I have two, two flashes and this is the 600EX 2RT, it's a speed light, I personally own two of them. So during, I use these usually for reception only. I'm not really a flash photographer. I love natural light, so I literally don't use these unless I absolutely have to. So again, they're definitely necessary for reception always. 
So I own two of them. Usually during reception, my assistant will shoot with one. I will shoot with the other because I don't think it's necessary to have two cameras for myself, especially since I use my 2470 for a majority of the time during receptions. So these are the flashes I own, and they're both the same one, the 600EX2 RT. So next I have a external light that I actually usually use this for sparkler exit or like if I want to get a detail shot and I don't want like a flash look, I just kind of like want a little bit of extra light, I will use this for that. And this is, I'm trying to remember, I think I got this from p &H Photo a really long time ago. And I absolutely love this light because it can also like be attached to your camera if you wanted. But I normally would we'll just have like my assistant hold it because we don't need two people to take pictures usually of like sparkler exit and stuff. So this is, I don't even know the brand of this. It says Platinum. I'm honestly not sure about this one, so sorry. Okay, so next I have, I have two external battery packs and these are for my flashes. So a long time ago, these are actually the Canon. So they come in this little case. They're the Canon, like external, they're called Compact Battery Pack, CPE4N, if that helps anyone. So these I bought from BNH Photo also. They are super helpful for, because I feel like during reception, especially like first dances and stuff, it's kind of hard for your batteries to be able to shoot so quick. So this kind of helps you shoot really quick because I don't know if you've ever shot with a flash. Sometimes there's like a delay in between shots and during like first dances and all of that, there's so many important moments that are happening. Sometimes you need to take like a lot of photos at once and you need the flash to go off continuously. So I was struggling with just the batteries on the actual flash. So I bought these battery packs and they are so helpful and they help my flash like stay with battery for a lot longer so I would definitely suggest these so <clears throat> so next are all of my cards so I do own a million SD cards and CF cards just because I always 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 double shoot so the Canon camera does allow you to insert two cards you can insert an SD and CF card, I always double shoot and I always keep my cards even after the wedding like filled with the photos until they're edited. That's another video for another time of like my process but I do keep, to try and keep my cards organized, I do have these labeled as like used so it has, it has like a little sticker that says used and then so I always know that the one without the label is like my newer cards. So obviously, so like the, all these cards, so all these cards, I'm missing so many cards because I have a lot of sheets to edit, but all these cards would be unused cards that are ready to go for like wedding day. So as we fill them up in the camera, We'll just kind of put them into the used case. So these are super important for your SD cards. I just found that these little cases work best for me. I ordered these on Amazon. So next that I have in my bag is I actually carry this around every wedding. It's like a little case of, I have a million of these like little cleaners, just because whenever it's foggy out or whenever your camera gets dirty, I love to keep these on hand and just to clean my camera. Because a dirty lens has such a big effect on your photos, like your photos can literally like not look as clean. So next is I keep chargers for that external light I showed you and I always keep my Canon battery um, chargers 
just in case of an emergency and I don't have enough batteries and I need to charge like on the fly or like let's say I forgot to charge all of my batteries I always keep these in my bag just in case <laughs> So I'm not sure that I'll be able to show you all of these, but next is all of my batteries. I do own a million of them because like I said, sometimes I do 10 hour days and you'd be surprised at how quick these batteries go because I always forget to turn my camera off. My assistant's a lot better than me at that, but I always forget to turn my camera off. So my batteries like go super fast. So I own, Eight. I think, feel like I own a few more, I just can't find them, they're somewhere around. Um, lately, since I haven't been shooting as many weddings, my bag hasn't been as organized as usual. But yeah, so like a little tip for you guys that I do. So whenever I keep have the little, what is this called, like the little case thing on it, that's how I know that they are charged. So whenever they're used, I always tell my assistant, like, don't keep this on. And we just throw it in there kind of like without it, like as a separate pile. So that's how I keep these organized. And I do think it's super important to own a bunch of batteries just because you're constantly changing them throughout the day. And mind you, I do use all three of my cameras on a wedding day. Last but not least, for batteries, I do have... Um, an extra pack of energizer or whatever it is, whatever's on sale to be honest. Batteries for my flashes just because I actually, I keep a log and usually they last me like about three weddings but sometimes I'll need them more like sooner than that so I always keep this in my bag just in case because not having batteries with your flash is like the worst. <laughs> Oh, and okay, and one more thing, just like for a few, like, if you ever want to have fun and play with your shots, then I would suggest, so if you ever want to have fun or like play with your shots, then I actually have the little prism, which is fun. I haven't played with this in so long, but it is fun sometimes to get some cool shots with it. And then I also have the like string lights that they're battery so literally they're super cute to like just use for like your bride and groom shots I think I need to change these batteries but these are also fun to play around with I'll show you an image that I've used them for that is all for what is in my bag thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe I will see you next time